This is the Honda CRV RS EHEV ECVT, and you're watching Car Guide Philippines. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel for more reviews like this. And if you like this video later on, please click the thumbs up to like this video. And if you're watching this on Facebook, consider liking the Facebook page. And if you prefer to read more detailed reviews of whether it's this car or the other cars in the Philippines, you can check out Yuli at carguide.ph. Unlike the previous generations where it was its own thing, wherein it had this soccer mom SUV vibe, this time around, you can clearly see that it took a good amount of inspiration from the Honda Civic, which I believe is a good thing. With that being said, you can see that this is more of a crossover than anything else, and I love it. And the reason why I'm all for it is because when you start driving this thing, it really feels more sedan-like than SUV-like. So it feels more involved, which I'll get to later. This time around, it's so masculine. So taking a lot of cues from the Honda Civic, you can see this nice uh, blacked-out front grille, LED headlights that re really resemble the Honda Civic. Oh my God, the wheel and tire combination, I actually love it on this configuration. They could have went with an R19 and then thinner tires, but come on, this is a crossover. You want that macho look. So, good amount of wheel, great amount of tire. It's a really good combination. And if I'm not mistaken, yes, it's R18. And then you can see the, the back, instead of being like, you know, an SUV where it's flat or curved, it, it looks like a wagon. And, and you know, with the wide angle press photos, it doesn't do justice to how it looks in person. So yeah, in terms of styling, the CRV, I'm digging it. So the other Honda CRVs, they use a 1.5 liter turbocharged gasoline engine. If you want a review of those models, comment down below. This one, on the other hand, uses a 2-liter naturally aspirated gasoline engine with a hybrid system. And for the transmission, it uses an ECVT. And as early as now, I'll explain it further later, the combination of the engine and transmission works wonders when it comes to fuel efficiency. But we'll get to that on the driving portion of the review. So, we're inside the Honda CRV, and it's now on EV mode. And can you hear that? Exactly, it's that quiet when it's on EV mode. First here, we have uh, seat memory. So you can put up to two users. So you can set up the position of the chair uh, whichever way you want. If you save your seating position, all you have to do is press the number and it'll go back to your preferred diving position. So you can save up to two. And then you have your automatic tailgate button over here, then uh, traction control and Honda sensing off, which I <laughs> you should just keep on if I were you. And here, front and center, you have a fantastic digital instrument cluster with a heads-up display over here. The digital instrument cluster it isn't about being fancy. It's about giving all the information you need to know right here in front and center. And here at the heads-up display, you have your speed. And what I like is, when you have your navigation connected, it also shows you the directions and the name of the street. So if you have to turn right somewhere, it'll have the street name and then the direction and the distance. So it's very handy. And then in the RS model, you get paddle shifters over here and you get like uh, all the Honda sensing stuff over here. And for the air vents, it's exactly like the Honda Civic where it's this nice honeycomb mesh grill over here. So it has a clean look. So even when you move the vents around, you don't really see it. It has a clean look. And then here in the center, you have your infotainment system. And it has a lot of cameras. So if you're driving, you can actually have the front camera on. You can actually even have the corners on so you can see like how close you are to the wall or to the gutter. But what I like about it is the, the pixel density, the screen is nice. And the details are very distinguishable. And the camera's excellent too, I'll give it that. And then here you have your dual climate control. So the temperature here and the temperature here can be interchanged. And of course, my favorite button, Max Cool. <laughs> oh, it says here Max Cool on, that's awesome. And oh my God, like the, the seating, oh, this leather and with the red stitching adds that good touch of macho. And then here you have your USB that connects here 
And then you have a USB Type-C over here for charging. So if your passenger has a USB Type-C to USB Type-C, they can charge here. And they still have a 12 volt, 180 watt outlet over here. Fantastic. So when it comes to charging, you have everything you need here. And if that wasn't enough, you still have wireless charging over here. And then here you have a sunroof. So woo, sunroof. So sunroof goes like on the first row and then it's glass on the second row. But in terms of uh, like view of the top, it extends all the way to the second row. Oh, oh yeah, I also forgot. This comes with both speakers. We are at the second row of the Honda CRV, and I have to tell you, this seat was to my configuration, so this is almost all the way back. And look at that, you have so much leg room. It's eating positions, great. I love this almost zero gravity feel. Sunroofs, they tend to take out headroom because you know all the mechanisms and the glass and everything. But look at the design. They made sure that the sunroof ends here so that they can give a good amount of headroom for the passengers over here. And then you have these nice reading lights over here. Uh, they're not adjustable, but they're nice. They're actually nice. And uh, what's also nice is that when it comes to the, the lean of this one, you can actually adjust it. There's three modes. One, two, three. So if you really want to lean back and sleep, you have the option to do it here. And then in terms of shoulder room, I'm a big guy. I think three regular sized people can actually fit here. Because like here, I'm really spread out. But like if I were to be more accommodating, so if I'm sitting like this, you can add two of me and then one petite person or three regular people can fit here for sure. If you use this as a four seater, ta-da, you have a nice armrest over here. So look, armrest, and then you have your drinks over here so that you're not nudging anything. The usual configuration, like the drinks are here, but what happens is you lose that armrest ability. So this design, I think is better. And then you have your two Type-C ports over here to charge your devices. You have also air vents over here. So yeah, the second row is simple, but it has everything you could want and need. Such a Honda approach, such a Honda approach. I love it. So if Honda's known for anything besides fun to drive and Type R, it's practicality. And to start off, we have this automatic tailgate. Boom, and here's the trunk of the CRV. And as you can see, it's, it's, it's plain. There are nice like, uh, depth pockets over here. So, you know, those uh, oddly specific items, you can put it here and it'll, you know, snug in nicely. And then over here on the left side, you have uh, 12 volt, 180 watts max uh, outlet again. So if you have those car coolers and what have you, all those gadgets, you can connect it here at the back. And then it being hybrid, you don't get a spare tire, but you get here at the back, the battery of the hybrid system and a tire inflator. So that if, in case you have a flat tire, you can inflate it and I guess repair it to some degree and then go to the nearest vulcanizing shop. This is how much trunk space you have on the Honda CRV, and consider this: this these seats are still up. So yeah, it isn't a flat bed by any means. There's just like this uh, notch over here, but come on, guys, that's a lot of cargo room, undeniably. So yeah, as much as I wish there was like a button or latch to put the seats down from the back, there's a thing with simplicity. When the mechanisms are simple, it's harder for it to break right away. This is simply a testament to Honda's level of practicality, and I'm all for it. With all that being said, let's go drive this thing. This is the driving impression of the Honda CRV RS, and its longer name, the RS EHEV ECVT. Now I know it's a mouthful, but you know, for what it's worth, this is, it makes up for that long name. So long story short, I like test driving hybrid vehicles with as much highway driving as possible to minimize the, the uncontrolled and the many variables when it comes to city driving. Because 
if the battery's empty and you don't get much time to charge it like on the road with braking or whatever, the values of its fuel efficiency will be different compared to if you have a good you know, battery charge and you're able to brake a lot of times. And because of that, when it comes to city fuel efficiency, hybrid vehicles will have fluctuating answers. And so I've always been hesitant to give those values. And so instead, I like driving long highway distances to remove those values. And so that we can get a good gauge of fuel efficiency of the different vehicles as they come along. So with that being said, I can tell you, I'm really, really impressed with the fuel efficiency of the CRV because this vehicle, the hybrid CRV, I was able to clock in 20 kilometers per liter on a 400 kilometer trip with around 50 kilometers worth of city and then 350 majority on the highway. 20 kilometers per liter, that's crazy with a vehicle this big. Those numbers you get on a mini compact car with a really small engine. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Those are the numbers I got. Looking at it in a fuel efficiency standpoint, yeah, it, it's a practical car. But at the same time, there's some fun to be had with this car. It feels more sedan-like than ever compared to other CRVs of before where they really felt SUV. This one feels more crossover. And that's what I like about it. The steering. It's lighter than I'd like it to be. I like uh, more weighted steering. But despite its lightness, it's intuitive. It, wherever I point, that's where it goes. I, I, I don't see myself putting too much correction or adjusting it to it. It's very intuitive. As for power delivery, well, I guess that's where this car will really surprise you. This has three different modes. So economy, normal, and sports mode. And when you're in economy mode, it really utilizes as much EV mode as possible. And when you look at the power delivery, even on the highway, you really get to see that even when you're cruising at high speed, there's some assistant that comes from the electric motor. And I think that's where it really manages its fuel efficiency because even on the highway, it does its job. And then normal mode, the response is good. And then sports mode. Well, before I go to sports mode, let's get a good stretch of road. Let us now switch to sport mode. Boom, baby. This car can pull. Oh my God. So when you're in sports mode and you're putting pedal to the metal, you can see in the power flow over here that what happens is the engine goes full rev and the electric motor pulls with the combustion engine. So it really has a lot of torque, a lot of power going on. And it makes for really good overtaking and a really fun driving experience. I would have wished that in sports mode, they would have added a little weight to the steering. So a little missed opportunity. I would have liked, you know, a little uh, weight on the steering in sports mode at least. But you know, it is what it is and it's not bad. So what do I think overall? <laughs> this is a fun to drive car. You can really see Honda. You can see the direction that Honda wanted for this car. They wanted it more of a you know crossover between a sedan and SUV. So when you put all these factors together, it's a very enjoyable driving experience, very comfortable. It, it has so many facets. If you need to drive comfortably, efficiently, fun, the CRV can do it all. I'm really impressed with this car. I wasn't expecting to be this impressed. When I got the keys to this CRV, I was expecting something good. But after driving hundreds of kilometers with it, I came out with something great. This is such a great car, guys. You know, it has like it has great practicality. It has great fuel efficiency. It has a great amount of size. It has a great driving experience. It has great standard equipment. Like, when you look at it as a whole, the Honda CRV is a great car. So, who is this car for? If you're looking for a great hybrid in a compact SUV package, it's probably this.